Hi, welcome again to this um, series of Calamares. And we are talking about partitioning, which is actually not this screen, but it's actually in here. These guys are the easy, easy installations, easy way of doing things. And this is the more uh, manual approach. Let's just call it manual because, well, what is easy and what is difficult once you know, it's not difficult anymore, but it's a manual thing. So you need to set things manually in here. This is your hard disk. This is your big chunk of data and it's one hard disk and the, the partition on it is the same size. But what you can do is actually say, I'm going to get um, rid of everything that's on here. Creating a new plan will delete all existing data. Well, it's always a good thing to start afresh. And this is an MBR thing. It's, it means this virtual box. I have set virtual box to boot up like an MBR, but you can set virtual box also to boot like UEFI or GPT. So that's good. When I press the button, everything is gone. All the data is gone. Okay, so now we have to say to this gray thingy, the, the hard disk itself, let's create something. And in last video, we've just one did one big chunk, and that's this thing. That's one big chunk. That's easy, and it worked. And we did not need to use a flag <coughs> or anything. Next time, of this time, we are going to say, well, you know what, um, I'm going to use some swap. You could actually have done the same in here. So let's go back a little bit. Swap, no swap. It's super easy. It's super simple. If you want to have swap, then actually the only reason to, to go in there is that you want to drag this thing up till here, which is, by the way, guys of Calamaris, if you're listening, a good way, if you could make this possible to just drag this to this here, would be awesome. But then at this point in time, we need to manually partition this thing. So going over the motions so it was not yet created that's why the blue is back because we did not create it or write it it was just just still in the memory where it was in here create and then we could divide this thing like i don't know this is 20 so let's say 15 or something like that okay around 15 is for me the root and sometimes you see people say, I would like my swap in the beginning or in my, and in my home there, etc., etc. All different variations. There is no rule. It's just a partition anyway. It's going to look at a particular place on your hard disk. And it doesn't, doesn't care actually where it is, beginning or in the middle, anywhere. So this guy is going to be an X4 and it's going to be root. And the rest in here, I need to do something with that one. This is done. Okay, so the red thing is done. I still have a free space over. I'm going to say, let's create in this free space something extra, which is our swap. And the swap is here, the Linux swap. There is nothing, anything that could be used for it, just the Linux swap. And mounting point not needed. Encrypted, we're not talking about it and anything here we could say set a linux swap but again as a way of testing i'm not doing any flags until now all the videos were without flags so no boot flag was needed no flag boot flag is probably needed and the only way to know it yes trial and error so this video makes me smarter do i need the flag yes or no And there we go. And we are maybe a last quick reading here. So MS-DOS, which is MBR, partition table as the A, not A1 and A2, A. So the complete hard disk. In there, you're gonna make a partition with that size. And in there, you're gonna partition with that size. And that's X4, and that's Linux swap. Then you're going to install everything, of course, on the X4, on this one, not that one. And the bootloader is going to be installed sda super go ahead my friend do your work and now we're on pulse almost finished installing the bootloader and we are awaiting this restarting now done 
selecting our hard disk and that's your crop it's still the linux kernel not the lts kernel that's possible too since july 2019 no flag was set all right how does that look in gparted come on g parted these times these days something is wrong with my keyboard i believe i need to buy a new one ah rubbish so let me log out log back in no keyboard is not working restart let me restart and pause here all right i'm back <laughs> i can type so how does it look on gparted so it exactly way the way we planned it right we have an sda1 which contains actually eight gigabytes which is actually nothing if you compare it to Win windows for instance in eight gig we have a lot of software right and i don't need any more well yeah i do some spotify and sync dropbox stuff like that but i can't put on the iso don't want to push that onto you but this thing is then our linux swap which is four which is okay, which may be used, might be used, or will never be used. It's um, always a good idea to read up what is swap actually for on the net. So there you go. We have, uh, without any uh, difficulties, without using boot flags or uh, swap flags or anything like, everything was just installed. All right, enjoy.